Today, we finna drape an illusion neckline baby doll dress. Come on. You gotta make a pattern, cut it out, then you narrow all of the edges. You gotta stitch it up, faces together, then you flip it right side out. Alright y'all, first thing you need, a little bit of muslin. Alright y'all, so it looks like we're gonna need about two feet of muslin here. Drape this cup. Ding, 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 ding. Take our first piece here. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. When you drape symmetrically, <clears throat> you really only have to do one half. So we're just going to do uh, her right half here, just this side. Okay? Now, our center front seam is going to be on the fold. So it's going to be a duplicate. So there won't be a center front seam. So what I like to do is take my uh, muslin scrap here and do a little fold. And that helps me remember when I'm tracing this on a pattern paper from the drape that this part's on fold and not a cut edge with a seam allowance. So the next step is we got the neckline here. And so you got about, about four inches or so. So you want to start with enough material to get up to that shoulder seam, right? So I like to give it a couple, maybe, maybe four or five inches. My first pin is always center front bus bridge. That gives you enough mobility to flex around, kind of, kind of get your bearings on where you're going with this pattern. So next I'm going to pin center front neckline. I'm going to pin the bus point right here. If you find this seam, the princess seam here, that's the best place to pin. Next we're going to pin down the waist. So next we're going to pin our neckline up here. Now this is a line you're going to have to slash. So we're going to keep enough material above our neckline so that we can get a good edge right here on our neckline. Next we're going to pin our outside shoulder. And finally we've got our waistband princess seam. Panel one's done. Now we're gonna take some Taylor's chalk and we're gonna trace our princess seam on our um, dust form here. Good shoulder seam, neckline, and we're gonna trace our princess seam Now with our princess seam, depending on how you want to do it, you could drape it a little bit on the bias if you need some stretch, or if you want to keep it rigid and do like a uh, sort of a corseted bodice, then you're going to keep your grain line true straight up. That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to start on our neckline. This is just a holding pin right here. So we can see how the fabric contours to the form. I'm going to pin our side seam. Now you want to go ahead and fold your edge along your original uh, princess seam tailored chalk line. That's going to give you your seam allowance, your uh, actual pattern piece for this princess side here. Now you want to be careful when you're pinning this. You're just pinning to your muslin fabric. You're not pinning to your dress form. If you catch your dress form, it's going to distort your pattern when you go to end up cutting it. So we just want to catch material right now. We got this sort of bubble right here. 
So we're going to move that up so that we can take it out in the arm hole. So we got to adjust this pin. Now we're going to trim off our excess here. Now it's time for the back. Mark our princess shoulder seam so we can set our princess back shoulder seam. Alright, let's pin our, our princess back seam here. Let's actually go ahead and slash this bottom, cut off what we don't need. It's going to keep our pattern from distorting. You don't want to trace this uh, side seam line so we know where to match it up. So we just trace that, fold our muslin over. Ding, 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 ding. And as best we can, we're going to match this side seam. Now, we're going to come up, pin our shoulder seam. So all this excess fabric is messing up my seam here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Now I can get this edge nice and clean here. Now we're going to cut out this armhole. Trace our shoulder seam here as well. Last piece, center back. All right, y'all. So since we're doing an illusion neckline and we do have shoulder seams, we need a center back zipper. Uh, you can do a side zipper if you prefer. You just have to remember that one of your shoulder seams is going to have to be a button closure. Um, so, you know, if you're fine with that, then by all means. But um, for this particular dress, we're just going to go ahead and do a center back zipper. And we're going to do a nice uh, keyhole for the chiffon combo of the upper part of the illusion neckline. Put another fold for my center back line. Help me remember that's where my zipper goes. Just do a hand press. <laughs> Okay, so we got our center back pinned up and bring it over to our shoulder seam, which is right here. We're going to fold on that chalk line we made for our princess seam. Do the same thing up here. With center back princess seam. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to try and lay this down. See how we got this roll here? We need to cut that off. So be careful when you cut. Make sure you don't take off too much material and lose the material you need for your pattern piece. But now we got this nice clean fold. It lays real smooth across the neckline here and down the shoulder as you can see. That's what you want. So next, 
roll this under, try and match up our shoulder seam as best we can, and pin it in place. Now we're going to come back to our center back here, make sure everything's laying flat, and pin down this princess seam. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to take our tailor's chalk, trace all of our seams, trace our waistband, shoulder seam, princess side, princess front, um, neckline, and uh, make sure we get them on both pieces of material so that we can use our drape pattern to draft a pattern on paper. <laughs> All right, y'all, now this step is very, very V important because it's going to help you when you go later to make the actual garment itself. So you're going to want to put notch marks. What I like to do is one for above bust, one for below bust, two on the side seams. And then on the princess back we do again shoulder blade and lower back and that just helps us you know mainly so that when we're looking at the pieces we can see visually okay this is this this is that so now we're going to draw our neckline so our top our top piece here is going to be chiffon right and then our bottom is just our fashion fabric so for our our top, I think I want to do just a traditional sweetheart, and then I think we'll have it meet. Yeah, I think we'll we'll come across and we'll cut into the armhole here. So we'll have chiffon up here, and then fashion fabric down here, and that'll give us a smoother transition. If we did just a little bit of chiffon here, it might be kind of kind of difficult. So let's cut it off up here. Awesome chalk team. Found it. Love that. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to do our neckline right across here. So that was exactly where my top notch was. So I'm going to do another notch right here and another notch right here. We actually don't need this notch now that I think about it because we're going to eliminate this seam when we do the chiffon, when we transfer the pattern, uh, we're gonna make this top piece a solid piece of chiffon so we don't have the same, it'll look way prettier when we're finished with the garment. So <clears throat> we're gonna come across here, this is our sweetheart neckline, and we're gonna come, try and pick up about visually where we left off, and trace our new, so, Here's our new line. So this will be our fashion material. This will be our chiffon combo. All right, y'all, last step. Mark our grain line while we still got pinned up. That'll help us when we're making our pattern so that we know uh, how to directionally cut this once we get it transferred to material. All right, y'all, we got our bodice done. Now for our skirt, we're gonna do just a, just a traditional gore skirt, uh, eight gore, um, which is uh, center front, princess front, princess back, and center back, and then all the way around this eight gores. So uh, we're just going to draft that on paper. We don't need to drape that um, for these purposes because we're just going to get a big voluminous skirt. So, uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this bodice onto paper, and then we're going to draft our skirt. So here we go. That's it for part one. If you like what you saw, stick around. Coming up next is part two. We're going to do drafting on pattern paper and doing a muslin mock-up. If you like what you saw, hit subscribe down below. If you want to follow me on the gram, you can find me at ClickBang. You can also follow me on the gram at Country Rap Covers. It is not appropriate for children. Stay woke. We'll see you next time.